everybody, Mr. Sixman here, and welcome back to Marble World. This game has just had an awesome update, and now we can build brand new marble runs that we've never seen before. So today, we're going to check it out to see how good it is. Look at these new blocks, lovely jubbly, but it doesn't stop there because we're also going to get up to some really silly stuff, like making massive pistons to make it a thousand. So, whoa! Oh, smashing marbles into space, filling up mugs with marble juice, then spilling it all over the floor. Oh, yeah. Blowing it up. Oh my goodness. And a whole lot more. This is going to be a good one. So let's get on with it. Oh yes. Look at all the cool stuff we've got to play with, guys. I just spent ages building this marble run over here. But let's start off on the other end. Because down here, we've got all of the new blocks that we have in the game. And this one right here is actually a spawner. So you can send marbles straight out of the hole there. They're running down a little slide. And if we go right inside, you can see they're just sort of appearing from there. So you can just keep spawning marbles out of that thing forever if you want to. I'm going to make a nice big line, a big traffic jam going off into the distance over there. But let's have a look at the actual blocks we've got now. We've got some straight bits over here. And what's really cool about all of these pieces, right, they've actually got holes in going through the middle. So you can run marbles along the top or you can actually make tunnels with these holes here and send marbles through those instead. And all of the corner pieces down here, there's two of those, they've got holes as well. And also over here, we've got a crossways track. And this one over here, guys, is a down track. The marbles go in the hole here and then they go down a little slide and there you go look we can go through with the camera and they can roll through and come out there onto a lower level but there's also a new special block over here and i've put five of them down just because i wanted to but this is actually a piston and it moves up and down and you can use it to smash the marbles and send them flying into the air now we're going to see that later on because i've actually put a giant one of those or not a giant one but quite a big one over on this marble run over here that launches the marbles really high into the sky that's going to be super fun to watch this is better. Whoa, look at that one. That just got fired up. Let's have a look at the first mini marble run that I've made over here then, just to demonstrate what the corner pieces do. And also the spawner over there, of course. Don't those marbles look awesome? But down here, look, you can actually see the pistons working. Now, these ones are not very powerful, but the one I've made over on that big marble run, guys, is way more powerful. I've just made a smiley face out of the pistons, which sort of pops out of the block. Look at that <laughs> every time a marble hits it. Anyway, let's move on to the next things now. On this one, I've actually got double spawners just going down next to each other so there we are like really nice sort of opposite s bends going all the way down to the blocks at the end and then they're going to stop down there and make a big traffic jam now these two towers over here i love these things now what these are are just basically sort of versions of this but they're standing up i've got a spawner up here the same one that we saw on the other tracks we just looked at a minute ago and as you can see because i've actually made the front blocks transparent so you can see through them they're basically made of sort of see-through plastic and you can just see them rolling down here through all of the blocks right to the bottom where they're just going to fall out because I haven't joined it onto anything. But I've made a rainbow one right next to it. Now this one's crazy, okay, because I've got the old spawner on here. And if you hold down the button like this, look how crazy guys, it's, oh no! Hang on, hang on, hang on, I might break the game if I go too mad with this. But look how many marbles are stuck in the tube and eventually like, they're, I've just stopped it so they will come out. You can actually go really close inside the block and see what's going on. Doesn't that look amazing? I've got one over here on the big marble run as well, but the front blocks are actually invisible so you can see really nicely what's going on. This is what it looks like to be a marble and roll down inside this tower, okay? So as you can see, we just sort of go around left and right, up and down and all sorts of things. <laughs> but it's really nice that you can actually do this, isn't it, with a camera? Now let's go over here and have a look at the actual marble runs I've been building. The smallest one over here is first and then they're gradually going to get bigger and bigger until we get the big one to finish up the video. Okay, what we've got here is triple marble spawners, guys going onto three different tracks down this marble run. So the central line actually just comes down here, goes in a straight line and ends up in this pot down here with see-through sides. So we can collect all the marbles in it and actually see if we can fill the whole thing up to the top. Okay, so we'll try and do that in a minute. But over here, we've actually got a see-through block. It's the same as the other straight blocks, but because it's see-through, you can see those tunnels working. Let's go down there, actually. Let's follow them. Oh, that's so cool. Look at this, guys. They're just such awesome blocks, aren't they? to play with. Let's go down here and I'm spawning some more in behind. But oh, there's another one there, look, just coming underneath us now. Here they come through the holes. This is that see-through block we saw earlier. You can see all the other marble runs from here, but then they just fall out the end and go into this pot down here. The sides are actually the exact opposite of each other. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same. So as you can see here, we go around the corner. 
and I'll try to keep spawning the marbles in as I'm moving the camera but you can see they go down that hole down to a lower level through a tunnel down here okay so that's the spawner just there and uh, I'll try and keep them coming down if I can through the tunnel and eventually I'm probably making some big traffic jams again because I'm putting too many into this small marble run oh, oh yes it's working oh no <laughs> <laughs> that they're jumping over to the other lanes. Oh yeah, we nearly filled up the pot though. Look at that. It's almost right to the top with marbles now. Oh yes, here it goes. Here it goes. Oh no, they're shaking. Oh no, what's happening to them? I think they're... Oh, this is really bad news. How many marbles is this? That's 915 marbles we've got on that thing now. That's not very sensible, is it? I think we... <laughs> we filled it up at the top though. Look at that. Yes, we did it. Check this out. This is going to be amazing. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh... Oh yes, how satisfying was that? <laughs> I love doing stuff like that in this game. We better fix it though, there we go, we fixed the pot. Now this marble run here is actually the same except it's bigger and it's got a different right hand side to it as well. So we've got the triple marble spawners over here as before with that central line going down the middle but the right hand side they're going to take a bit of a detour and go around these corners, drop down a hole and then join back into the middle line. The left hand side is the same as well. When that comes down here look, it joins up so eventually they all go into the middle and then they're going to come through this tunnel but go to the right again down here and all Already I've spawned in too many marbles but as you can see they come around the corners here through a couple of tunnels down there on the other side and eventually end up in the pot. Let's look at this from up above as well it's just so amazing to watch these things from different perspectives isn't it look how cool that is just by changing the angle of the camera suddenly you get a brand new way of experiencing these marble runs. Another one stuck there look. Let's see if we can fill up the pot down there as well and then break the sides and watch them all fall out again. That was so... Oh no! <laughs> I'm trying to spawn them in too quickly. As I try to fill up this pot down here while I'm breaking the whole marble run in the process, it's worth me mentioning that actually this is only part one of this update, guys. There's actually going to be a part two with even more blocks. Oh yes, we filled up the pot though. Yes! Okay, are you ready for this? We're going to break it again. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh yes! Oh, who else finds that satisfying? Does anyone else watching find that just ultra satisfying? <laughs> now this one, guys, has got six marble spawners. And this is the first time that I've added one of those cross tracks so you can go in any of the four directions possible. As you can see right there, two spawners going into one bit of track, crossing over the ones on the right hand side going down. Oh no, I made a traffic jam, guys, already. Let's watch these ones though. Down the right hand side, then through the holes, around the corners, down another hole here, round there. And oh, I love watching this. And then they're eventually going to join into the central line over there. And the right hand side spawner actually sends marbles to the left hand side of the track. So it's going to go over here, down these sort of down tracks, and then eventually ending up on the side as it comes towards the central line over here. This is the same part that we saw over here, if you might remember that. And eventually they're going to go down into this coffee mug, which I strategically placed perfectly just to, uh, <laughs> to fill it up with sort of marble flavored juice or oh, the mugs filling up now these three marble spawners underneath and you can see that guys look at those marbles there jumping from the track above i've actually made a bit of a drop here because the marbles on the left hand side are going down a tunnel there look and then they're coming out here and dropping onto this track out of the hole onto that track below. They're joining with these lower three marble spawners. These three marble spawners are exactly the same as the ones over here. That's the same track, basically. And that's another thing which is so good about these blocks is that you can just build a whole marble run and then easily add more onto it because there's just so many little bits. We're going to go over the big marble run any second now, but I think it's time just to finish off this by deleting this mug. Three Three, two, one, go! Oh, yes! <laughs> right, delete those. Yes, it's time to have a look at the biggest marble run in today's video. What was that noise? I just heard 
I think a fly just crashed into my light. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Let's. Ca I don't know what's going on up on the ceiling. Something strange. Anyway, yes, this is the biggest marble run we've got in today's video. It took me ages to build this one, but it's finally up and running. It's working. Let's start over here and have a look at this. So as you can see, just like before, we saw one of these things, but the blocks are now invisible in front. And if I press the invisible key, you can see the green blocks there. They are actually there. They're just invisible. But it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Just to see exactly what's going on really clearly clearly and they're all going to go down to this very lowest part here and then make their way down the track as normal we've also got the six marble spawners here that's the same as the other track we just saw a minute ago we'll have a look at the spinning wheels in a minute but they're actually part of the marble run as well they are elevators as well as the really powerful marble smasher down there but let's have a look at this one first it's actually a marble dropper and it's going to drop marbles into this funnel down here okay they're going to spin around in there for a bit i just love watching these things and uh, it will send some more down in the background as I'm talking here. But as you can see, they go down the hole in the middle, of course, and end up inside one of those down tracks. It's one of these down tracks that you can see right here, except it's underneath the funnel. So as soon as they drop through there, and we have made a bit of a traffic jab, but it sends them back onto the track and down into the coffee mug. And by the way, this is a giant coffee mug. It's actually bigger than the other one, so you can get way more marbles in it, like a thousand or something. We might have to fill that up later. But yeah, this is a marble dropper here, and it's just going to simply drop them down, and uh, we'll have a look underneath right now so we can see exactly what happens as they fall through the funnel and they'll start to come through there we go look they're just coming through now and we'll try and sort of get ourselves down there here's that <laughs> that's so amazing to look at that through the hole and here they come really quickly down the slide and uh, through the tube here. We'll see if we can get some to the end without making a massive traffic jam. But as you can see, they go down this hole here, that blue one and the pink one there. And we've got some more. Come Oh, no, that's guys. That's why it breaks here, because one of them gets smashed back by the other marbles on the other track. And then they make a big traffic jam. And that's it. It's over at that point. But that's that's the idea. OK, now it's time to have a look at the spinning wheels over here. Now, each white box here right in front of the wheel, that is a marble spot. Spawner. So we've got triple marble spawners over on this side of the track and I'm spawning marbles in right now And as you can see they end up going onto the wheels and being elevated up to the top level I'm going to continue spawning them in but all three wheels are now loaded up They leave the wheel at the very top and go into a tube as you can just see through there Look they're rolling through the tube and here it is We'll just take a step back here and you can see all three wheels are sending marbles into these tubes rolling down and landing Oh, no, guys, we've got a big traffic jam down here as well. Now, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's working. Oh, yes, it's moving. Look, it's, oh, it's a, it is a bit broken. This is the worst one, I think. They don't get much speed as they go along this track out of the down track here, okay? So that's why sometimes, oh, no, that one fell off, guys. Some of them actually go quite fast along here, but some of them are really slow, and it was very hard to set this up. And that's why on the other side, look, I made, well, that's meant to be a better track but that's broken as well unfortunately and as you can see they drop down on here get a bit more speed in general and look loads of them are making it round we've already got a traffic jam there but over here they're actually falling down really nicely and eventually it does break as well as you can see one of those marbles roll backwards that's the problem there isn't it because they all go here look they go backwards you can see why it's breaking now because three different tracks are trying to go down one hole at the same time and it would be all right if i wasn't spawning in thousands of marbles all at the same time but one of my favorite things on this marble run is this okay now look how powerful this is guys in fact it's so strong this piston that i had to put a roof on it to make sure that the marbles don't fly off into space you'll see some marbles coming down right now they're going to smash into the roof up there and then end up in the mug because they're bouncing off it but basically it's the same thing the marbles go up into this tube up top but there's an extra tube down here now we've got two tubes making a u-shape and down here just after the orange part which is a straight bit they hit a trigger which makes the piston launch the marbles up into that roof there but watch what happens if we take the roof off okay let's see how whoa guys you see how high that marble went let's put the game into slow motion and just see this pink marble right it gets smashed and look how high it goes 
That is amazing. We just pause the game and it's at the highest point, which is about there, roughly. Look how high they're going from that piston down there. It's really powerful, isn't it? And you might remember it's much more powerful than the one we saw at the beginning of the video over here. And that's because these are small ones. But this is one and it's four times the size, which makes it four times as powerful. And now we're going to do this in marble camera mode, okay, and get launched up into space. We'll do it in third person, first of all. So let's play the game in slow motion here. I will speed it up a little bit just so we can sort of see what's going on. We're going to get launched up and there we go into the sky, back down again, smashing to the ground. There's more marbles coming in the background. And uh, oh, that's brilliant, isn't it, guys? <laughs> but now we're inside the marble spawn. If I zoom out, you can see we're inside the green marble spawner. And we're going to have a ride on this track now in slow motion. There's the wheel. We're about to go onto the wheel. There it is. There's, the, there's our gap right there. Yes, we're on it. And we're going to go outside in a minute. There we are. And if I just zoom out, you can see what's going on. But we're the pink marble there. I'll speed up the game a little bit here. So we're going to go back into first person. We're having a ride on the track now. And uh, we're going to go through the hole any moment. Now, there we go. There's the tube. Out. And whoa. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. I've just realized that's 1,859 marbles. That's way more than I thought we had. This is... Whoa. Look at that one. That just got fired up. There's also two spawners over here, by the way, which I haven't shown you yet because I forgot. But basically, they end up just going onto the same track. However, it's quite cool because there's a really long tunnel over here. So we'll just quickly have a look at that as well. I'll just send some more marbles in and we can follow these ones through the tunnel. It's really quite big, this one. It goes all the way through here and eventually comes out. You can see the marbles on the other track just over the way there. And we'll zoom out here so you can just get a really good idea of how that looks. But it's just so fun, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Again, we've got three tracks going into one hole here, and that could be really dangerous. But I think it's working so far. All sorts of chaos is going on down here. I think it's now time to fill up the mug, though, and see if we can just delete it when it's full. Uh, guys, that's going to have like a thousand marbles in it because it's bigger than the other one, remember. So this is going to be a really big one. Oh, no, I've got to put the roof on. Oh, there we go. I put the roof back on now. <laughs> I've got to put it on and the marbles were just like launching away. Right, the roof is fixed now. As you can see, that blue marble bouncing off the top and going into the mug. The pink one coming down here as well. There it goes in slow motion, of course. Look how fast it is in normal speed, guys. That piston there. Look how fast it's going. It's really, really cool. And don't forget, you can make it way more powerful. If you go to properties here, right? I've got it at four times the size. If you put that to 100, whoa. <laughs> Oh, no, it's going through the bug. Oh, no. Look at it. That's 100 times the size, that piston. Let's do 100 this way as well. Whoa. <laughs> look at it. Oh, no. It's going through the wheel, look. What happens if we turn it? Let's spawn in the marbles now. Oh, no, it's working. Oh, no, we've broken the spawner. They're coming out the side of it. The piston's so big, it's not letting them get on the wheels. Oh, no, guys. We've, we've completely broken this marble run now. This is a disaster. What if we do this as well? 100. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, we've broken it. Oh, no, look at this. We've broken it at the back as well and the side. How did that happen? Loads of marbles just came out the side all of a sudden. I don't have a clue how that happened, guys. That was amazing, though. It can't even work anymore. I mean, it would work. It's perfectly fine, except that no marbles are hitting the trigger. So, of course, that's why it's not working. Should we make it a thousand? So, whoa! <laughs> That's a thousand size. A thousand. Oh, guys, we've got to do a video with pistons, haven't we? We've done a video with giant magnets. We've done a video with a thousand loop the loops. Maybe at some point we could do a video with massive pistons and see what we can do with them. <laughs> that's a thousand high now as well. Guys, that's a thousand times the height of a normal one. That's absolutely ridiculous. It's, co it's almost covering up the entire marble run and everything else that I've built as well. These are the only bits that you can see, look. <laughs> okay, let's just put it back to normal size. There we go. And, uh, oh, there is still, guys, it's still massive though down here. Hang on. Control, control Z, and yes, there it is. That's the... <laughs> It's back to normal now. Let's see if it still works or have we broken it. Oh, no. It, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yes, it's working. Yes, it's working as if nothing ever happened to it. 
Yes, the mug's almost there. It's actually almost overflowing at the back here, though, just next to that track. But over here, there's still a bit of a gap. I'm not sure if they're... Yeah, look, they're coming out now. That's as full as we can get it, guys. Right, now, what I didn't tell you is I've got something special inside the mug. I haven't told you yet, but I've kept it to the end because this is going to be awesome. Inside the mug here, down the bottom, under the marbles, there is something really powerful, and we're about to use it. So if we go down here, I'm going to show you what it is and then we're going to use it. Okay, down the bottom of the mug, I'll have to actually go inside it as well. Hopefully, I can find it. Hopefully, it's still there. I don't know if it's still there. Yes, there it is. This thing here, right? That is a giant magnet. And we're going to set it to full power on repel mode. And it's going to blast the marbles out the top of that mug into the sky, okay? And because it's a giant magnet, it's really, really powerful. Here's the magnet controller over here. It's on zero power right now. We're going to put it to maximum power and it's on repel mode as well, okay? Right, watch this. I've got to find a good angle for this. We only get to see it once, right? So <laughs> we've got to make sure it's a good one. We have to step back a bit as well because it's going to be a massive explosion and it's just going to cover the whole screen if we don't get far back enough. We're also going to do this in maximum slow motion as well so we can see the full impact of this explosion. Are you ready? Right, here we go then. Three, two, one, go. Full power. Whoa, there it is. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh my goodness, guys. I didn't expect it to be that big. Oh no. <laughs> it's huge. Look how high they're going. Wait a minute. They're, they're literally everywhere. Oh my goodness. Let's just zoom up into the sky a minute. Right, pause the game. Pause the game. Goodness me. Look at the size of this dome. It's a big marble dome. It's just been made. It's like an upside down bowl made out of marbles. That's crazy. Let's see if there's any still inside the mug. No, they've all gone. Look, every single marble has been blasted out of the mug here. I just found out something amazing. Watch this, okay? If we just spawn loads of marbles on the track and then put the magnet on full power, they're not even getting out the spawners, guys. Well, they are, but they're just going backwards. Look, that is ridiculous. I put it into slow motion. Look, they're not even getting onto the track. They're just going into the air. That's 1,800 marbles there. That magnet is so powerful. But if you want to see a video full of giant magnets way bigger than that in fact we made a magnet in that video which is as big as the entire world and i'm not joking we actually made a big magnet which covered the entire world and we used it against marbles and all sorts of things if you want to see that video i'll link it in the video description below but also you can search for it on my channel if you want as well but it's quite a recent one so if you do want to see those giant magnets check that one out it's super fun but that is it for today's video everybody i really hope you enjoyed this one it's been a lot of fun what a great update and don't forget there is actually going to be a part two for this update as well with even more blocks coming even more mini blocks and hopefully lots more other updates as well in the future guys this game is just getting better and better just imagine what we could do with more blocks we've only got eight new blocks so far but imagine what we could do if we had like 12 or 16 or 20 of these things let me know in the comments down below what blocks you think would be cool to add to this update there's so many different ideas we could use isn't there but uh, anyway that's what we've got so far but look forward to some new blocks for this update and other stuff in marble world in the future guys we're going to try and cover it here on the mr sticksman youtube channel but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please do hit the like button the subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to be notified of when my upcoming videos release until next time take care and i'll see you very soon bye for now